top of the morning to you. Leo Lee here again. Time for another Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. We are on number seven. Last one was really, really good. Like a really, really good. So hopefully this trend continues with this awesome game. <laughs> Let's go. All righty. We got new powers. And it really opened up our combo system. Okay. We have to visit Sid Solar. I heard Otto barking here. Which is upstairs? Don't mind me. Just take it away. Wait, where's Jill? Is she in her room? I can set a broken arm, soothe a cough, settle a stomach. But there is no remedy for what happened in Eastpool. My talents are worthless in the face of such cruelty. I'm sorry. We're low on gig and toad oil and curial greens. Should I put an order in with Lady Karen? There's another door back there. Nothing. Oh, there's Jill. We can keep running. Or we can walk through this door. Ted tempted to run away with you, but I know the game's not going to let me do that. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. Superpowers. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Yeah, you're the Different. dominant of dominants. And there is nothing I can do to change that. Except maybe you're a little bro. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk, no matter how colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Heroic speech. Be they bearers or beggars. The hero comes to a revelation. March blindly to their end. Never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into Cue. now? Uplifting and motivating music. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. Something tells me we're not going to be uh, that sneaky. But 
Look at this clean place. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and cluster. A new villain has entered the story. Your radiance? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the Crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... <laughs> this guy's sitting on marble like it's the comfortable. The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea. Sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. San Breck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. <laughs> it is not the will of Ifrit, though. Uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legion? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. Bahamut. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. Can't even get smooth answer frame rates in, cu in the cutscenes. Answer by drawing ambient ether from the air. Where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. 
they're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the Mother Crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. They're ether, a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. There's another player in the game, huh? Inconvenient to whom, exactly? A alien, res uh, alien civ civilization? Boy, I really couldn't get those words out of my mouth for some reason. The gods themselves. Alien civilization. That's all, folks. So now you want to do something about the crystals. And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. Doom. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying <clears throat> dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? Maybe. I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> Big trouble. I'm going to need more than a few potions for this. New items. Let's go check Don't it. Mind me. Just a quick Don't mind me. What you got? So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Or a flam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in... On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Okay, got a blade? No, no, no. I said she has new items. I don't see any new items. No. Heat wave. Oh, Lionheart Tonic. Gradually fills limit break gauge for 30 seconds. Ooh. Do I want to use this? Uh, I guess it, it can work as a... Because if I do limit break, I also heal. So it's technically a heal. Okay, let's fill this. You're rubbing me blind, you know. All right. Okay, gill bug valuable valuable can be traded for gill. All right. Oop. You got out else? Used for crafting. All right. Crafting, 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 crafting. Crafting. Oh, wait, I can sell. Oh, yeah, heck yeah. That was easy. Sweet. 
Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and a tint tie is Borbile Tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will you? All right. Well? Can't yeah, upgrade any of this stuff. All right, flame tongue. Uh, I can craft it. Reinforce. So I can't upgrade the stuff I have on already. All right. Wait, uh, what weapon else? do I have right now? What's mine called? Gear. So it's called Invictus. It gets 165. Okay, 165. I see I'm busy here. Yeah. This one will give me a ooh, 180. Let's craft it. Not bad. If I do say so myself. And it's purple, so I can't reinforce it, right? Nope. Got it. Fine. Oh, this sword looks dope. Nice. Yeah, items are still pretty boring in this game, honestly. Like, there's no special properties to these swords or anything. Take a seat, Clive. I'll so you really going through with it? Since we've been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home, with a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Oriflam. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this Dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. Quite the woman. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. We'll hunt her down. Why are you spying on me? Alliant reports unlocked. Oh, he's not spying on me. He's a new NPC. Alliant reports are now available for viewing by speaking to uh, Got at Alliant Report Counter in the Hideaways Mess. These reports compiled by the Curse Breakers contain information on quests currently available across Ballistia. Oakley Dokley. I suppose that's everything. Why not? Let's check him out. Now to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at oh, the it's goat. service anyway. 
Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or, or maybe I don't have to. I warrant a strapping lad like you's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But are they now? Ain't enough. These have got proper bounties on them and all. Here you go. At GOATS, uh, Alliant reports... Oh, use GOATS, Alliant reports, to not only find new quests around Ballistia, but also travel immediately to the Obelisk Waypoint nearest their location. Oh, convenient. Okay. Kill. Let's try one. Let's see what it gives us. Ah, oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? Sure. It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. The man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> you're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? Sure. I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. I'm starting to regret doing these quests. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Yay, another fetch quest. Let's go get food for the bearers. Can I have another cup, Daddy? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We've enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh. Rude. Apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. All right. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Please give me good rewards. Brother, did you see? <gasps> yeah. Bread and wine from the tavern. Straight from my pocket. Uh, 
May we? Truly. Really? You fade to black and play eating sound effects? <laughs> you want to avoid animating it that badly? Such plenty. Never in all my days. 2023, Where folks. This place is like Final Fantasy 16. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. Oh my, we can eat. The next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Dun, 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 was not worth it. What happens to it was not worth it. I don't want to do this anymore. Get me out of here. Back to the main campaign. These side quests are b -b -b boring. And give me a dang gill bug. I don't really need to buy anything. Well, well, well. Someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gaff. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Clive laughed. Fine day for a little mischief. Did he just chuckle? Say. What will he do next? Is he gonna kiss Jill? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in North I can't stop admiring that sword I bought. So dope. You two behave now. Black and red. Lost wing. Let's get it. Come on, I want to fight. Fight, fight, fight. So, oh no. We're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? But how did the grocer know his daughter had been steeped? Please, no more exposition. Unless it's really cool. Where am I going right now? Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that crop. Oh, why did I go here? I, I, I want no trouble. Okay, Popeye. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grega. You know, you were the hanged man. Popeye, because his I outfit. For a rogue. The if white, friend the, of Master Quinton, you know, the thing around his... Oh, never mind. Help me. His vineyard... Lost Wing's pride and joy has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends mm, don't get it tired first. today. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. 
Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, <laughs> rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right. I'll get to it when I'll I get to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. High fidelity grapes. Wait, what's this? Is that in here? Oh, I've been in here before. Got some grapes? How do I get out of here? Where am I supposed to go? Sun's Let me out. Fast. Can I please ride a chocolate bow now? Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? Still no. I wouldn't say safe. I just have to run my whole this whole game. How dare you dangle chocobos in front of me and not let me ride them? You also put like a awesome like blue and green one out in the wild that I can't do anything about. It's over. Again, this game, I keep forgetting it defaults to your item potion bag whenever you load back into the game. Wait, did Jill not come with me? Not cool, man. What's this secret area here? Oh, I can't even go in there. Our hero is allergic to water. Yeah, come on. That's enough. Get him, boy. You lose. It's over. Okay. Uh this way. Oh, what's that thing? I like you. I didn't press it. What? <laughs> Apparently, I pressed the touchpad. Oh yeah, I did. I remember that. Come 
come back down here. Sick of Togo. Keep your distance, boy. All right. That took way too long. Oh, there's a chest here. Nice. Griffin's what? Can't believe I pressed my map button in the middle of fight. Griffin's head braid increases burning blade damage by 7%. Uh, that is... What's burning blade? Burning blade, burning blade. Magic burst, magic aerial. Jump. Okay. That's what that is. Oh yeah, I was uh, trying to save up for that, right? That was pretty cool. Limit break. Okay. Wait, what? Um, hmm. Run! Chocobos! I need... I need some potions. Level one, dragon net. You guys guarding something over here? Let's find out. Get him, boy. Dang it. It's over. Ooh, no, 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 no. Ooh. Sick of Togo. Don't let them get away. Stay down. Stay down. Not guarding anything. Dragon Avis. That's a big boy, right? The one I fought earlier. There. Northreach. Kill them all. Get up. My wounds, boy. Oh, come on. Get down. This time. Nope. Nope. Get back down. Get him, boy. Oh, shoot. Nope. Much more. Dang it. Come 
on. I just want to do that. Why not? Takes too much damage. Ah. Woo. Another stagger. My limit gauge uh, actually fills up pretty fast. I shouldn't be afraid to use uh, my limit break all the time. I'm one of those players when you have like special gauges, I tend to like hold on to it and then I... I end up wasting it. I should manage it better to where I limit break, fill it back up, limit break, fill it back up. Ooh. What's this big open field? Uh, those are peaceful animals. I'll leave them alone. Leave the peaceful ones alone. Oh, shiny over there. Excellent. Do I have to? Come on. That's enough. That's enough. Stay down. You stay down. Nope. It's over. Eight kill, bloody hides. What is this? Sharp fang. Let's get get this uh, shiny over here. The soldiers used to speak of a brothel. I really want to explore that castle thing that over there. North of the checkpoint. friends in the south oh my god i'm getting like was in these pies again? i'm getting like 20 fps right now uh i'm looking for chests any goodies wait why am i bothering it's not like i get any cool items it doesn't give me weapons or anything with the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne where do i go oh obelisk it's not getting any fresher. No, is it not? What do you got? Do you see anything you like? Gaia blade? I don't care about your Gaia blade. I don't care. I don't care. Briar clamshell? I don't care. I still don't have enough to buy one of these music tracks. <laughs> what is even the point? And a fine, fine oh. day to you. Did I use all my potions? No way. Let me guess, because I'm accidentally pressing it. That's why. You've a keen eye. I do like a customer who knows what he wants. Uh, okay. Not another step, Branded. Or what? We'll be spending the night in a cell. Search for Dame. Hello. What are you? Oh, there is a chest. Oh. 
Oh, there we are. The best dressed woman out here. A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. One of many sexual innuendos in this game. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred. Milf? Leontel. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... So sultry. Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Words. Why you gotta use that word? Unless. <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes. That will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? You say these are all from Dalmechia? Okay, uh, speak with Isabel. I just spoke to her. Why do I gotta do it right after? What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are, but it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. You really don't want to fight me. I'm just saying. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. Oh, because I want to fight you. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. 
Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Hmm. I mean, she's not bad looking, Clive. Well then. Wouldn't hurt for you to relax a little, buddy. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Nice. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now. It's not what it sounded like you wanted me, him to do. And I began to fear the worst. I keep saying me. I'm, I I, I, I don't, I'm not a role player, I promise. People. No, I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Seal obtained. You accept the moon and the stars from Isabel. Hope for that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Start here. Mm, okay. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of what Tatiana. brooch? I don't see her brooch. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared. The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her. See, this is. But perhaps someone else. Did. These are the moments Tatiana I do not enjoy in this game. The chambermaid may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. This just is padding. Let's see what our chambermaid can tell us then. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm... It's odd, too, because this is part of the main quest. Did she say anything But the story beat is, like, really... Before she went missing. Only that she needed to non essential. She didn't mention These are like name, side quests. But I know exactly who she meant. You do. Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatienne and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. She didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him. And you'll find her. 
All right. The man from the garrison. Working on it. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired. Several side quests here, I see. Okay. Heard the bones fell favorably. I'm <clears throat> looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel branded? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thanks you. The dame, the thanks you. On the road to Oriflam? I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. All right. Fools there, nigh on every night. Oh, wait, there's item over there. Oh. Sergeant's got it in for us. I want it. It's in a weird spot. Why is it here? It's a pretty large area. Side quest guy. Are you telling me? Woo. What's in here? Is there nothing? Hello, nurse. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? They eloped. Isn't that what you want? They ran oh, off to be a couple. It is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. It's all right. I'll destroy them there all. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. A man in Moor Tell him I sent that you. owes you more than one return favor. return as soon as I find something. Uh, speak with Bertrand... And more. Look for the man and more that owes more flavors to Madame. Wait, what's he got to say? Crystals era for citizens only. It's none for the likes of you. Oh, if I can beat your ass right now. Or if not. How many bearers suffer to keep your granaries <gasps> Another full? blue chocobo. Should I fight it? It seems special. Like I'm going to get something special for fighting the blue one. I really don't want to fight these birds. They're not chocobos, are they? They're different birds. Ah, let's go for it. Oh, 
special for that I'm sorry birdies I won't fight you anymore I'm a monster hmm that over yonder looks uh, tempting to go explore. Uh, another side quest all the way out here. I'm a chocobo guy. There are so many just side quests out littered in this part of the map, huh? The people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says. It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Okay, let's see what this guy has. Buy, sell, or be gone. I see nothing new. Alright. Why do you have a marker over your head if there's nothing new here? Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. And I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stopped to peddle their wares on their way to the capital, but only one's been seen quarreling with a soldier. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground till the soldier got tired of shouting, from what I hear. If you seek him out... From what I hear? Keep your head down. Fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him. And that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. I ain't scared of nothing. Weren't expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from North. Call him, Beach. please. At the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Yes. Yes, that's right. He had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But although it was an antique, it most certainly was not, as I told him. Nevertheless, he insisted that it was of great value and was quite vehement about my appraisal. I stood firm, however, and for all his bluster, he still purchased a new comb, albeit an inexpensive one. And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Yonder ruins. Not at all. I would do 
anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was helpful. Another innuendo. Most helpful. Okay. Uh, let's get over to the ruins. More bird as Hmm. It smells of death here, Togo. It smells of death. Wolves. All right. Don't let them get any closer to the village. That's a that's a cheap combo. <laughs> uh, so cheap. Okay. Damn it all. Bodies. A man and a woman. Oh no. Weak ass the man couldn't couldn't busy. protect her from wolves. But the blood is long dry. Oh, that means these wolves didn't kill them. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? Now, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. By the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Nah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to Moor for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick had bothered to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one in the hope they'd wed. Mm. Wed? Th Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happened. I did to call that. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which, I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Seems like a decent guy after all. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatian by. Hmm. 
Run! See what happens when you create a game like this and then you make the reward system lackluster? Like, I see all these side quests and I have, like, no motivation to go do them. I don't get any armor pieces, no cool, like, swords. The message that needed delivering on. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you needn't have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You, you found her then. Okay. I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. Courtesan. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatian. Female adult workers. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The Veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Okay. I go way up there. Uh, how do I get up there? Okay, um, North Reach Clive. I'm already here. So this way? the quest we go with some razor blades and hand grenades hi ho hi ho hi ho hi ho hello i did press x to open and you jump instead As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. 
Jill, someone tried to take my innocence. Go slap her. I create my own entertainment. <clears throat> Shady mother crystals. The pleasure houses. Okay, now they're really not hiding it. <laughs> Brothels. <laughs> Jill, I'm too innocent for this place. Cheer up, you two. I think it was safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. Brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very You know what? Private. Respect to the devs for not holding back. I respect that. In this day and age. Respect. So then. How do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is I'm actually super surprised they the had that sound effect in there. <laughs> but not the most. She's a star. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut. And how exactly did you come to know about this fatal chink in the Empire's armor? Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. I may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by the helmet, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is, if the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can Please let words. Jill be a dominant. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. Okay, let's get going. Continue on to the mission. You have reached a pivotal moment in the story. If you continue, you will not be able to return. Proceed. I ain't got nothing else to do.
I'm definitely not doing any more fetch quests. That's what you're wondering. Drake's head. There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. Huh. I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. She's and smiling at the thought of uh, discarded. seeing Clive happy then with the father figure. Embrace the moment I think use it to grow and change. Sid's really cool. Love this character. Okay, the crystal's curse. Pivotal moment. Come on, this way. Try to stay out of sight. Obviously. Don't worry, the passage is empty. You want me to stay out of sight, but there's no stealth mechanic in this game. Ooh. I stumbled upon the chest. Probably just has crafting material or gill. Teleport up here, Jill and Torgal. What if I keep my eye on you? And then you'll be back here. Oh. <laughs> All right, not quite it's empty. Let's get this over with. One single man from reaching the sanctum, so shut your gob and keep your eyes open. We're not going to be able to sneak up on him. I swear this passage is secret. The enemies upon us! <sighs> of course it is. Perfect plan, Clive. Perfect plan. Woo! Whoa. The heck happened there? That's enough. That's enough. Yeah, uh, this move right here, followed by the magic burst, that, you can just do that endlessly. It's an infinite combo. And it's basically a cheat code. So you keep doing that, it knocks him down, and you can Big infinitely do check. the finishing move, too. You're welcome. You know, with the Torgo trick I mentioned in my last playthrough. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. That's my thing, figuring out combat mechanics. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Can I go in? And all good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. All right. 
Oh, dragon. Stay down. Ah, oh, come on. Hello. Ah, oh, come on. I'm stuck on something. What the heck? I'm annoyed right now. That's it. It's over. Stay down. Stay down. That's enough. Okay. You come down here, you annoying ass. You know what to do. Stupid dragon. Full health. Boss fight, boss fight. I think this may be the moment I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only two. Why do all the big guys have such light voices? You're a talker. Then let's shut him up. Is that a cannon? Ooh. There's nothing left of him but hatred and rage. Let's end his torment. Dang, I pressed the wrong button there. Okay. My wounds Come on, where's my dodge? Come on, dude, what kind of move is that? I think that's like the first legit cheap move I've come across in this game. Like, there's no run button in this game. What is this? Ah, that's annoying. Come on. 
You know what? Screw you. Forget about that follow up. Oh, shoot. I tried to carry that. I didn't use all my uh, heals on accident. Precision dodge. Accidentally used all my potions. I'm getting sick of doing that. The favor of Inferno, ignition. Okay, that's actually a good uh, item. Because I use that move a lot. I'll never get used to that. I cast it on no, he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. God, duty's a death sentence in this. Okay, uh. Dang, man. Okay, I can never remember the names of these, uh. Rising Flames. Gouge. So, Wicked Wheel and Gouge. Wicked Wheel, Aerial Blast. All right. So I want to replace... Which, which Scarlet Cyclone? Okay, I don't even use that anymore. Um, So let's replace this one with... Ignition. All right. Let's go without any potions. Oh, breathe deep of the blessing, my friends. 
Who said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits? Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. Steel sick. Thank you for the potion. Can I get another? Thank you for another. Meteorite. Uh, what do we got here? Okay. Um, what does this do? Enemies. Ethers made monsters of them. Isabel said she thought the Empire might be planning to abandon the capital. Could this be why? Could this be why? You said you could call her Isabel. Never mind. Can I go up here? Want to heal me? They were there to keep the Akashic in. Bye bye. Can someone heal me? Uh, I want you, but I can't get you. Screw it. Nice cutscene transition. Doesn't look that far. Right. Dude, you're a dominant who can float in the air when you become Zeus. And it breaks. Some help. Hold on. Dude, just turn into a dominant. Float in the air like you did before. tend to start getting hot. My PC heats up this area and makes me all sweaty. Wait, Warcry? Some opponents use the ability Warcry to invigorate themselves, enhancing their performance in battle. Look for the icon and try to defeat them before they can deal too much damage. Dodging. There, there's like too much slowdown happening. Screw this. Annoying. All right. 
right. Simple enough. Ah, uh, man, that that fight right there had a ton of slowdown. Man, there's just not enough heals in this game. Getting a little sweaty. Big boys. Okay, let's fight the small boys first. Dodge, man. Nope. Oh, shoot. I didn't know he did that. Oh, what a slow swing. Nope. Nope. 
takedown, baby. Dagger damage. Dude. I feel like I had him staggered that entire time. <laughs> That's better. Potion. Coral sword. You actually gave me a weapon? 185. And it's upgradable. Yes. Ah, uh, this sword doesn't look cool, though. Ew. I see they replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. The sword looks poo poo. Three. What happened to two? Ask one. <clears throat> Once more. I have a better sidekick than that. Trying now. Eh, that one was better. As if that was gonna keep us out. Guy, yeah, you move really slow in this cave right now. Mother Crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, how do I equip the? You know, I need I, I need to equip that other potion. How? 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 This one. So add shortcut. There we go. Okay. I forgot I had that potion. Burn, baby, burn, burn. This is ridiculous. There. That's our way into the inner sanctum. This, this is huge. You'd think that it patched that up by now. Sorry, state the empire's in. Wait. You don't mean. A little game of hide and seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Good music. Hello. Oh no. Them again. 
After you, Turbo, you mortal blow. How could those creatures from Phoenix Gate be here in the mines? Are the two places connected somehow? Where's Aerith to heal me when you need her? Enemies. Mistakes. Healing them. Oh, this guy. Stay down. It's over. Who? That's enough. My wounds, boy. Just keep healing me. A little help. My keep healing me. Boy. My wounds, boy. A little help. My wounds, boy. My wounds, boy. My wounds, boy. <laughs> I want to heal. There's so little heals. A little help. Not this time. A little help. Ooh. Nope. Why am I going? I'm like switching direction. Oh, you know what? Screw this. Yeah. Come on. 
Barely get any heals, man. Ah, uh, blink. You gotta blink, Leo, or your eyes will hurt. When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the glass gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. Oh dang, boss fight. Where did that come from? It's the ice dragon. Poor beast. Another victim of the flood. It's the crystal dragon from Elden Ring. Well, if it's a fight he wants. Ready, Clive? Always. Oh, no. I can't see anything. Come on, come on, come on, come on. set piece. Is Jill down? Nope. Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. Oh, that was so delayed. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? Where's he off to now? Clive, look out! Woo, what's that? Not here. What? 
That's a one shot? Well, if it's a fight he wants. Ready, Clive? Yo, there's no run button. How are you supposed to avoid that BS? This time. I tried to parry that. For real, I dodged that. supposed to dodge this the heck I don't know how I dodge that It's taking forever. What's this? I don't like this. Okay. 
Okay. Whoa, no. I didn't see that coming. What the heck was that? Come on. Absorb damage. No. Okay. Where'd you go? like it a uh, lot like a lot I wish I didn't die though it's hard to dodge like AOE attacks if uh, there's no run button you know are you all right fine the inner sanctum lies just beyond Chances are the palace guard knows we're here, we should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Clive. Hmm. If this all works, and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after. By which I mean, hunted. I just hope, in the end, they'll see that we didn't have any other choice. That it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was, thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? Sweet. Uh, actually, I think this is a good spot to end it at. 
let's uh, save the game first. All right. Okay, that's going to do it for me on this playthrough. This is Final Fantasy 16, Part 7. Ah, I love this game so far. I mean, it has its uh, kind of like mundane moments, like those main quests that seem more like side quests. However, this game always manages to deliver big set pieces and big boss fights, which are super, super fun. I am kind of salty that I died on that dragon. There's no run button in this game, so when he's spewing that fire, I just I had no clue how to dodge it. And on the second time around, I accidentally dodged it by doing a teleport. But usually when you do that teleport move, you don't have like iframe. So I, uh, I don't know. Whatever. It worked out for me. But yeah, it was a ton of fun. I'm loving, you know, having these new abilities. The limit break is super awesome. And I actually found a new combo in this gameplay. So it's that square and was it square and X where he does a lunging, lunging stab. And then you follow up with a magic blast. You can just keep, you can just keep doing that on enemies and it's fun. <laughs> But yeah, a uh, lot of fun. Super, super looking forward to finishing this game. I don't know how much longer it is. It seems like it's a pretty big game. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Until next time, please like the video and sub to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you. Bye-bye. <laughs>